What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. For those of you stopping by for the first time, do me a real quick favor. See that red subscribe button down below? Go ahead and push that to show you support for the channel. For those of you stopping by that have been here before, welcome back to TLTG Reviews, my friends. I'm glad you came to see me. So, been a few days since I've been back from Sin Explore. That was one of the coolest experiences of my life. Um, got to meet a lot of great people. A lot of people I've been watching for years. A lot of people I've met recently in the last few months since I started doing my channel. Uh, created a real real tight bond with a few guys. Uh, James and Russell, Outlaw Frags. Justin Copeland, Stay Fresh Productions. That's family now, guys. We, we had a great time together. We had a blast out there. Uh, for those of you that watched my video with Justin, Outlaw Frags popped in. We had a good laugh. It was a good time. Um, found out James and Russell are only about six hours away from me. So uh, a few weeks from now, maybe sometime after Thanksgiving, I'll be heading up there. Stay stay the night or something. We'll shoot some content. and We'll start doing things back and forth, vice versa. Um, it was just it was a love fest over there. It was awesome. It really was. Uh, just so many things. I covered a lot of it in the vlog. If you haven't watched that already, uh, Steven just released the video, the first impressions video that I did with him and Carlos. Uh, he released that yesterday. That was awesome. Um, but the reason y'all haven't seen what I have gotten yet is because I only brought a carry on to New York. So all the fragrances I got, I had to have somebody ship them back for me. So Raymond over in the fragrance lounge, Swift Sense, appreciate it. He offered, hey, let me, let me mail this stuff back to you so you don't have to worry about it. So... I actually have quite a few things. I actually want to touch on something that um, I actually requested, and it didn't come in until I was already in New York, unfortunately. So uh, the rep I deal with over at Cremo actually asked me if there was anything I needed for the upcoming trip. And I said, as a matter of fact, I haven't picked out a travel size body wash yet. Does Cremo have any? He said, as a matter of fact, this past summer we came out with a bunch of two ounces. I'll send you what we have. So here we go. Four different scents. Cremo's Body Washes, Bourbon and Oak, Special Blend, Reserve Blend, I'm sorry, Sage and Citrus, and then my personal favorite, as well as Matt over at Georgia Gent's personal favorite scent, I have a full-size bottle of this, Blue Cedar and Cypress. This one's this is the way to go right here, guys. So I ended up just putting, I had an old little travel size Axe bottle. I put some Blue Cedar and Cypress in and took that with me. So I did have some Cremo bottle, body wash with me on the trip. It just wasn't from one of these bottles. Very nice of them to send this out to me. Those of you that have been watching the channel for a little while know I absolutely love this brand. Um, do plan on doing some more reviews. It's not quite cold enough to do my review on Leather and Oud. I haven't really got to do as much testing as I would like um, so I do have more fragrance views coming for them. I use a lot of their beard products. I accidentally trimmed my beard a little too short last week. Uh, in one spot, I grabbed too low of a garden. You know how it is. Once you start making that first pass, you're committed. So that's why the beard's where it is now. And speaking of the beard, go ahead and get these Cremo tags out the way. Speaking of the beard, so Zaharoff was a diamond sponsor for Sin Explore, and the surprise... Well, special launch, really, not really a surprise, was for his new beard oil, Zaharoff Signature Porom Grooming Oil that can be used as beard oil, and then Zaharoff Signature Porom Aftershave Lotion, which can be used as more than just aftershave lotion. I got to sample them both over there. I did get to take one of each home, um, and I will tell you, it smells, it's the fragrance, but... In, an, in a body lotion, aftershave lotion, face lotion, you can use it for so many things, has anti-aging agents in it, and a grooming oil that I'm just going to go ahead and call a beard oil because I'm not really sure what else you're going to use it for. Um, once my beard starts to get a little bit longer, I will be testing this. I have to shave tonight. I will be using this aftershave lotion tonight to give you guys an update just on how good it is. Super, super great to have these. That was cool to come home with. From Zaharoff my favorite brand. And then everybody that went got a goodie bag with $60 off coupons and kind of monopoly money kind of thing. Three, 20, three coupons worth $20 each that you could use to purchase different things. Um, they did come with, for the VIP event for the after party with these Sin Explore wristbands, um, which I was one of the content creators that was sponsored to go out there. So 
I technically wasn't registered for this, but I went downstairs and made them give me a bag anyway. Because, hey, who doesn't like free stuff? So the samples that I got, this is from Mihan Aromatics. This is Guilty Story. I can still smell it because Steven had sprayed it on the box and then sprayed a test strip for me and Carlos. This is actually the sample that uh, we went did a first impressions on in the Guilty Story first impressions video on Steven's channel over at Red Adolescence. If you haven't checked that video out, I will link that video in the description down below. That was just super cool for me. Probably never going to get, you know, being a big fanboy like that. I'll probably never get rid of this because of it. I'll use the fragrance, but I'll probably keep the box in the bottle. So we'll put that right here. <clears throat> Other samples. Now, everybody got these samples in their bag. Um, I got Olfactive Studio Flashback in New York. Very leathery, very masculine. Did spray this one on my hand and test it out last night. Uh, a little labdanum, some clary sage. I find it to be a very masculine scent. Very... The name's very fitting. It gives you the feel of being in New York. Now that I've got to be out there in the streets of New York, I get it. Olfactive Studio, they're good at, at raising your senses and making you think of certain things. And they're spot on with this one. It's a cool sample. I'm glad to have that one. Anisio, Oud for Greatness. Haven't tried it yet. Do have the full sample. I will be doing some testing on that. Problem about with having all these samples is I'm going to end up falling in love with them and wanting some. Speaking of, Parfums de Marley, Kalan. I wore this on Sunday on the trip back. I actually got a compliment from James sitting in the, the, the lift we were taking back to the airport. He asked me, Ross, what are you wearing, man? It smells really good. It's very fresh. And I had been wearing it for several hours at that point, and I really do enjoy this. Um, I did spray a little on the heavy side, probably a little heavier than I should have. As you can see, there's a little bit of a dent in there, and that's just from one wearing. Uh, let's just say I, I need a bottle of Kalan. I really, really like it. It's very warm and fresh spicy, and you know me. I love my spicy fragrances. This is going to have to be, I'm going to have to get a bottle of this. And then one I want my wife to try out. This is Italia from Parfums de Marley as well. Another sample. Pretty cool. You know, that was all part of the little goodie bag that everybody got walking in. Um... And they did have the little red tickets uh, for giveaways. They had several full bottles they were giving away. Um, Howie, over in the Fragrance Lounge, came out. Great to see everybody. Had a bunch of people from, from the group that came out. And uh, Howie had to leave a little early. And uh, his tickets hadn't been called yet. And he handed them to me. And I said, now, Howie, I'm telling you, I win something. It's mine. Don't get mad at me. Lo and behold... Ticket one, I got this. I hand my other ticket. Russell's like, oh, man, that's cool. I wish you had more. I said, matter of fact, Russell, here. This one hadn't been called yet. Two giveaways later, Russell wins. So, snooze you lose. Both tickets won. You know, it is what it is. But he's a good sport about it. He gets it. So, what did I win? Haven't smelled it. Haven't opened it. This is the main reason I had Raymond ship the fragrances to me because I wanted to check this box out in person. This is Zerzhov Asento. Musky pineapple. Um, Joe over at NYC Fragrances told me it's kind of got an Aventus vibe because of the pineapple and the musk. Uh, it's got a lot of florals to it. Iris, hyacinth, jasmine. I don't know if it's going to be feminine. It's a little powdery from what I, I checked it out on Fragrantica. It has that purple suede, um, purple suede kind of velvety bottle to it. I mean, we're, this is legit first impressions because I've smelled everything else that's right here. Almost everything. This is a legitimate first impressions on the Zerjoff. I wanted to save it for the channel. So, grab my trusty knife. Cut it there. And cut it there. Whoo, boy, that's pretty. It's a 50 ml. 1.7 ounce. That is pretty. Velvet. What is that velvet? That's beautiful. And it absolutely is. Very, very beautiful. Oh, it's heavy too. For being a 50 ml bottle, this thing has some girth to it. But I wish y'all could feel that. It's so smooth. God, that cap is so heavy. I smell it coming through the atomizer. And it, as you saw, it was sealed. It's never been sprayed. So, since I've smelled the other ones, I'm not going to do tester strip. Wow. Smell it in the air. So my concern going into this one is it being too feminine because I see how floral it is. 
Oh, but that's not too feminine. That is beautiful. My God. I'm definitely getting the iris. The hyacinth. It's kind of got that purple floral, purple flower kind of vibe to it. I don't know if it's because it's mixing with the iris and the hyacinth. And then the musk and the pineapple. For sure. God, this is classy. This is banger right here. This is a treasure, undoubtedly. God, that smells so good. And from what I see, it's supposed to last hours and hours and hours and be very loud. And it's coming off. Yeah, it's coming off my skin pretty heavy. Wow, super, super happy to have this. Wow. Yeah, this is going to be a certain occasion that I bust this bad boy out. That's a very elegant smell. This is something you can dress up for sure. God, so awesome. Zerja Facento. One I would have never originally thought to purchase. Glad to win it. Max was pretty excited to hand it to me when I walked up there. He said, congratulations. He drew me in because the music was loud. He said, hey, it's a good one too. It's Zerja. <laughs> so that was cool. So what else did I get while I was there? I used... The $60 coupons, and then I had a subscriber who was leaving and didn't buy nothing asked me if I wanted his $60 off. So I was able to get, I'm not going to tell you how good of a deal on these, because it's going to blow your mind, but probably the best deal I've ever gotten in fragrances. And I just want to say, I did speak to the owner of the company, Mona. I'll put our picture together right here. What a wonderful, just artistic Zen master of a person. Have a conversation with this woman if you ever get a chance to meet her, run across her, go to an event with her. Life-changing conversation, guys. really is. And the fragrances represent that. From Kieran NYC, I got Sunday Brunch and Nitro Noir. Genderless, vegan-friendly, animal cruelty-free. Every fragrance tells a story. I found this to be fruity, mysterious, a little powdery spicy. And this is probably the most bright citrus tea fragrance I've ever smelled in my life. I sampled these before the event even started. Kept going back to them. Once Mona got there, had a great conversation with her. I mean, a long conversation with her. It was awesome. We've emailed since. She is a darling in the fragrance world. Awesome to talk to. And the fragrances match that sentiment. They really do. They are fantastic. I will be getting the whole line. These were my favorite two. If I had to pick two, these were the two for me to get. Next on the list will be Santal Sky. And then last but not least, I will get 10 a.m. Flirt, which is a fig fragrance. Because Santal Sky, that's very sandalwood creamy. Had a very clean linen scent to it. Really did. It's all about simplicity on the note breakdowns, and it's all about a vibe with these. Uh, we'll go over that in here in just a second after I finish getting the cellophane off of Nitro Noir. So, let's start with my favorite of the bunch. So, Nitro Noir. The vibe's intoxicating, hypnotic, and sensual. Like I said, very mysterious. It only throws out three notes, but the note breakdown's more... We had a good conversation, that was part of it. Note, the note breakdown is much more complex than the three notes on the box. This is just going to be the main things you smell. Italian bergamot, pink berries, and patchouli. It's much more complex than that, guys. God, the way, these, the way these boxes are done. <laughs> Everything is A1 with Kieran NYC. So, actually looking at this box, I'll actually put a picture of it right here so you can see it better. You can see the lips and everything. This is You would think more, this is for the ladies. But I'll tell you what, this was my absolute favorite scent of the night. This is my favorite thing of what I smelled at the event. I told George, I told her, I told everybody. I, I, I helped sell quite a bit of bottles when people were asking me what was what would I recommend there. Um, shoot, if I was making commission, I would have made it a pretty penny that night. I was dragging people over there. Because I'll tell you what, this was my favorite fragrance of the event. It really was. I love the bottle designs for Kieran NYC. It's all quality. They're, they're more affordable than you would think. They're $78 for a niche brand of such high quality. God, I gotta spray this on my hand. Atomizers are amazing on this. Everything's quality. With Kieran NYC, got a smell in there. 
the pink, the it, it's that berry note is just so just grabs you. It pulls you in. This is a conversation starter. God, this is so good. Guys, I implore you to check out Kieran NYC's relatively new brand launched in 2018. If you haven't tried their fragrances, this is actually one of the more affordable options in the niche world. But you wouldn't know it if you didn't see the price. You would just assume smelling the fragrance, checking out the presentation, seeing the backstory about the brand and what the brand's about, you wouldn't think $78 a bottle. Trust me. God, this is so good. Moving on, let's look at Sunday brunch. I don't want to drag this on too long because I can sit here and talk and talk and talk about everything that happened in this event and all these wonderful things about Mona because Mona really was awesome. Sunday brunch, Italian bergamot, lemon, and Earl Grey tea. It's a lot more than that. The vibe's cheerful, energetic, and luminous. And that's pretty accurate, guys. This is a very uplifting scent. The name Sunday Brunch is very fitting. Close that up. And there we go. Put that right there. Another one. Like I said, you would think it's more of a lady's fragrance. I'll put a picture of this bottle right here so you can see it a little more. The advertising is geared more towards the ladies, but God, Zerge off so good. Oh, I like Nitro Noir even more. <laughs> I really do. But the citrus on this is that of a mind-blowing quality, in my opinion. Let me grab one of my trusty old Nissan business cards so we can spray this one on. God, I smell it already. This is the most one of the more authentic lemon notes. I mean, I, I don't see lemon listed on one of these three notes. Yeah, lemon, there it is. Okay, my apologies. Because the lemon is just, it's like I cut open a, and smelled a fresh lemon. So authentic. The citruses that are used, in, and as it starts to dry, you really start to get that tea note. It's kind of like a black tea. I know it says Earl Grey, but it's kind of got a black tea note to it. God, just amazing. It really is, guys. I mean, I can't wait to complete the line. I will be doing individual reviews on all three of these, but first and foremost is going to be on Nitro Noir and Sunday Brunch because they're that good to me, guys. I think I found it, uh, one of my new favorite brands. I really did. That event was terrible for me because it opened my nose to a lot more things that I haven't gotten my nose on before. So good. So, so good. I'll actually link Kieran Fragrance, Kieran NYC in the description below if you want to go check out the story and check out some of the fragrances. Because like I said, they're a lot more affordable than you would think. And then the last thing that I got while I was there, uh, it was end of the night. Max asked me if I wanted it. Uh, thought it would be great for the channel, him and Steven. We were standing there having a conversation. So like I said, I did that first impressions on Mihan Aromatics. Uh, guilty story with Steven, so I actually got one of their discovery sets from Mihan Aromatics. We'll go ahead and slide this open, and it samples from their entire line. So that's pretty. This box smells amazing. So I will be doing testing on these, and I will get back with you guys. Maybe do a full, a few full reviews, and then one more thing. That's everything from Sin Explore. Uh, something that did come in today that I'm not going to go into too great a detail because I do have a separate video to do. I am doing a collaboration with Unique U. I'll put their logo right here. Um, this is an, a subscription service over in the UK. They actually reached out to me and emailed me. I saw Justin uh, at State Fresh Productions actually did a video for and a collaboration with them as well. And uh, I started thinking about it. We were emailing back and forth. Um, thinking back to a lot of comments when I did giveaways and stuff like that, it was, oh, you know, are we going to do... Can you ship internationally to the UK? I have more viewers than I thought in the UK. So when I really sat back and thought about it, I said, you know what? Yeah, I can do this collaboration because this could benefit some of my subscribers. Um, so I'll just <clears throat> give you a little brief rundown of what I have. I was able to pick out six fragrances. It's all niche. Uh, it's 13 milliliter decants, I believe is what it is. Uh, similar to the other subscription services you need, you, you've seen. I'm not going to name drop them at all right now, um, but <laughs> this, this is just cards for each one. I just wanted to spread that out real quick, and then 
they come in these presentations but we'll cover all these things later in the in the video so what did I get like I said this presentation is not gonna be anything new that you haven't seen before so this is actually Goldfield and Banks Desert Roadwood Desert Rosewood that was one of the ones I had picked out and then I also have Parfums de Marley Herod. Let me just pull them all out real quick. So this is Montal Intense Cafe. Parfums de Marley Herod. Parfums de Marley Darley, grab that for my wife. I want her to test that out. Have another one of their little atomizers. And this is Eight and Bob Cap the Antibase. Uh, I, don't, I know I'm not saying that right. I'll work on that for the video. I'll get the pronunciation correct because I know that's not right. <laughs> and then last but not least, I got Aqua de Parma Fico de Amalfi. Figured why not? Let's try out a nice bright summer fragrance. So a lot of stuff grabbed, a lot of stuff in the works. <sighs> Man, just just awesome. Um, can't wait to test some of these fragrances. That's uh, that's pretty cool. And then uh, the main thing I'm looking forward to doing is full reviews. Like I said, on both my Karen NYC fragrances, because I was blown away by them. But as always, guys, do me a real quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. I do appreciate all the feedback. I love hearing from you guys. Um, the outpour of, of awesomeness has been just that awesome uh, with the comments, the feedback, things on Facebook, Instagram, all the new friends I've made, uh, so on and so forth. It's just all the, all the extra content that's been done, all the content to come. Um, so many more reviewers. I will be trying to collaborate with, swapping videos, so on and so forth. Um, it's just been awesome, guys. But I'll leave you with this. I'm willing to bet you get your hands on these, any of them, really. You give them a spray now, you're most certainly going to thank me later. You have a great night, guys.